Hello and welcome to Country Sports TV. Yesterday we saw about 40-50 pigeons feeding in on this rape field. Now what I'm hoping is that they're still here today. It looks like they are. There's a couple there. The fog's just beginning to lift. Couldn't see anything half an hour ago. Yeah, we've got a nice little line of pigeons there. Wow. There's a fair few pigeons there. But as you can see, it's very hazy. And it's just beginning to clear. And what we're planning to do is as they're feeding here, is see the big tree in the centre of the field. What we plan to do is to go over there you can see the flight line the other side of the tree see them all flighting in there. What we intend to do is go to the other side of the tree in the shadow because it's going to be bright sunshine today and set our decoys up on the other side of the tree can't shoot towards me because I'm up by the houses and the allotments and people are going to be around later so I've got to shoot away so I've got to shoot towards the woods there behind and that's all fields there so it's safe to shoot away but not towards me only problem is last couple of days they've been feeding between me and that big tree as you can see they're come, beginning to come up the hill now but we'll take the stuff down, set the decoys up the other side, the pigeons will get up. Hopefully we can get them to come back in the other side of the tree. We will wait and see as they say. You know what decoying days are like. You're going to have thousands of pigeons on the ground, one shot, and they'll all disappear because there's loads of food around at the moment. They're on clover, they're still feeding in the woods. And help me get the stuff across the field, because although I'm shooting this one at the moment, if the pigeons start f flighting in on another field, I've got myself a carp trolley. Absolutely magnificent for pigeon gear. Put everything on it, just cart it round the field. It's too wet to drive on, so we can't get the kit in on the car. So I've got myself a little trolley. It's brilliant. The train's just gone past and put up all these pigeons out of the wood. Hopefully, but they're just waiting to come back. Oh, that's a repair the track repairing machine. That is the yellow one. Let's see if it puts up any pigeons out of the wood. They didn't even move. Missed. Never mind. Interesting, I've got two seagulls coming. I think they're picking up slugs or worms that are on the ground. They seem to be flying over and just picking up stuff. Interesting. Uh, as we got a bit of a lull, I've uh, got about Eight on the ground, I think, at the moment. Dead birds. Uh, we've got a couple of two good hours. Um, 
but there's so much rape here and so many corners that they can get in um, that it is not easy. We've got four blokes out on a thousand acres and the pigeons are still finding holes to get in. So we've got a Chris Green flapper there. We've got a floater as if it's coming out of the hide at the back there. We found that we've got to put the decoys ever so close together on the rape this time of year so that they come in. And on the right hand side we've got more dead birds and plastics and another Chris Green decoy in there as well. It's working, they're beginning to come back in again now. Um, just shot another one. That brings the count up to nine on the ground now. We'll just see if we can get some more. As long as we can keep shooting and keep the birds moving around, then we've got a chance of uh, cutting the numbers a bit. There was about a thousand in the wood there two days ago and they've just been devastating this rape. Um, normally I don't shoot this time of year. It's February and it's cold but the sun's shining and it's warmed up a little bit and it's quite pleasant today. It's now three o'clock, the sun's beginning to go down and it's gone quiet all of a sudden. Don't know if they're going to start going up to roost yet, but what we'll do is we'll stay around here for another half an hour, another hour by four o'clock and then we'll call it, call it a day I think. Uh, I don't think we're going to get many more. I think we've got about 20 birds today, which isn't bad. And what I've done, if you can see, is I've put the flapper right out the other side on the right as if it's coming into the pattern. And that was working a lot better than having it leaving the pattern. Um, so hopefully, hopefully they come back again. But it's gone very, very quiet at the moment. Saying that, we got pigeons coming in. Uh, see the all they want to do is just go and roost up in the trees now we'll give it a chance we might get a few more Right, we've come to the end of the day and I've packed up all my stuff ready to put on the trolley and 
We used the pine wood floater, which worked very well. It was much better when I moved it as if it was coming into the pattern. And we've ended up with about 26 birds. Took time. They weren't coming in as well as I'd like, but we had a flurry at the end of the day. And I thought it was Christmas. Put the gun up. I don't think I put the camera on at the time. But Ian had forgot to put his cartridges in. So we've got a few birds less than we should have had. But you tell me who hadn't put the gun up and forgot to put the cartridges in it. We've all done it. And also, I used the Chris Green decoys. In this breeze we had today, just having those wings flapping, I put them on, just put them on sticks on the ground. They also helped to uh, get some movement in the pattern and they worked a treat.